I've been working on this portrait. I've gotten a little bit more done. You can kind of see what we have here. Look a little bit more closely. You can see how this portrait is coming together. I'll show you how I did her uh, part of her skin here in a little bit, but <clears throat> that's what I've got so far. And I want to. Here's the picture again. Look at the picture. So I'm painting her pretty much, very much the way she looks. And uh, you can see here the two of them side by side. Uh, so I'm pretty much copying this picture. I'm going to change the background quite a bit, but I want to show you a little bit more on the hair. So look at this section right here. Now here's here's her hair, and we're going to take a look at just this part here. First of all, this has to be drawn right, and if you look very carefully, right there in that little section, if you see where that is, there's her face. We're going to go right to that little section there, and then we're going to go right to that same section, which is right here. So uh, it's hard for you to see what I'm doing, but <clears throat> if we get this up closer here, that's where I'm at. So I'll move this up closer so you can see a little bit more where I'm at. And look, look here, here's my brush and we're going to come in here and take, we're right here, we're going to try to paint this here. We're going to come in right here, like this in through here. See how dark it is? And I'm just, there's nothing magical about this. The main thing is we need an accurate drawing very accurate drawing and then we just put the right color in the right place. So there it is. The, the big thing that I do that so many people don't do is I do a very accurate drawing and I draw very paint very slowly and accurately and uh, about 95 percent of the watercolors out there uh, when they're doing hair or they're painting you know grass or whatever it is they paint much quicker than I do. I, I'm in no rush. I take my time. And so I put that in, which is here. And now I'm going to come in. And as it comes out, it changes color. So it's going from there, and it comes out like this. And we pull that out like that. And then um, we continue to work that. <clears throat> now I want to show you a little bit here how we did her the side of her cheek. Again the colors are essentially red, yellow, and blue. So um, we're going to start out with the paper is dry and we start out with some red and some red and some get some red and blue. Doesn't matter that much what red and blue it is. And maybe we'll add a little bit of yellow. So this is red, yellow, and blue. Here's my palette here. You can see what I'm doing here. So we take some red, we take some blue over here, a little more red, grab a little yellow, any yellow, and there's there's where we're going, red, yellow, and blue, okay? So we're going to take that color, <clears throat> and that's the side of her cheek, and we start out like this, okay? There's my color, we put it down here like that, and <clears throat> maybe add a little bit more color and again, most people will will make this way too watery. They'll make it way too um, light. So that's her cheek in there, and I put that on there like that. Now you rinse your brush out. We're going to go. We're going to go now to a little more blue as we come down. So we add more blue like this, and as we go up, we're going to add a little more light color. We come up like this, and so we're going to come up here like that. And we fade this out like this here, clean the brush out, come down here like this. So we're changing our color as we come around. <clears throat> and then as we go over the top, we're going to get a little more yellow, and we come up here like this. And our brush needs to be exactly the same, the same wetness, see, as we come around. So keep drying the brush out, soften it up like this. And fade this into her face. So we dry the brush out, soften up these edges before it dries, and keep softening the edges. Lift up the edges, dry the brush out, hit the sponge, lift that out like that, 
come in here like that, lift this out. We're going to patch that right in there like that, soften up the edge, and we, you know, we put that in there. And there's, <coughs> there's part of her cheek. You can see that's the same technique there that is put into that. And that's the way I use, I use that to, to do everything here, you know, putting in this here, putting in this here, up here. And again, that's, that's the way this is done. That's the way this is done. Everything's done that way. So we put the color down on dry paper, soften out the edge. Okay, this is uh, not done yet. The rest of the painting is getting close to being finished. I need to do something with the background. Uh, you can tell here that the part that I haven't done is, is right here on the hair. And I haven't quite finished this hair. So let me just show you a little bit of how... I'll do just a little part in here. So I'll do this right here. Uh, so you can kind of see how I do that. Here's a close-up of what I want to finish up yet. And again, here you can see the, you can see the, fa the uh, photograph of her. So there's the photograph. Here's what we want to do. And again, if we look at right here, that has to fit in right here. So painting hair is like painting anything else. We have to find a, you have to have an accurate drawing. This has to be the same as that. So every, all the colors are essentially red, yellow, and blue. Uh, that's how you make uh, brown by adding uh, red, yellow, and blue. And as you come across here like this, we start out with that color. We come out like this. Now watch me change color. I'm going to go a little bit more, a little more yellow here. Here, and then we come in right through here. This needs to be more reddish. A little more reddish brown, red, yellow, and blue. Makes brown. <laughs> Come in here like that. And look at how that turns into yellow or yellow orange as it uh, as it goes up. So a little more yellow. So we're gonna go from this here. Gonna go right here and add a little more yellow to it and it gets lighter. And as we continue to move up, we do like that there. And then as we go the other way, it gets more bluish. So it turns into more blue as it comes down this way. So that little... This is, uh, the hair is pretty much done. The portrait is pretty much done. Again, here's the photograph. You can see the hair there. We worked on the hair probably I probably spent five hours just working on the hair. So far, probably uh, 15 hours on this portrait. And uh, uh, the next lesson, I'll show you how I will try to figure out the background. That's it for this lesson.